Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video it's time to get the beat in. Bro is out behind me here in the 7618 Harren away so we're going to leave him the camera as I have to go off with Troy and Rory to do a bit of tidying around the yard as we have a board B inspection coming up. So Father Phil and Bro are going to get the beat in so hopefully we'll catch up with them later on look at our beet varieties and that. The video is kindly sponsored by Gold Crop who have supplied us with the seed for this year. So we have two varieties going in but we'll show you that later. So. We'll give Bro the camera. It's dusty anyways. So have fun Bro. Make a good one. Now, the whole field is harrowed over. It's first harrowing. Let's come back here in a few hours to do it again after that. Uh, puts fertilizer on us. Just folding it up and then I'm heading off to Dolan's. I'll see you when I get there. Spin around. And we are back. Well, when I say we are back, I'm back. Just picking up bro for the litter. So, beat drill is out, it's on, we're ready to go, field's ready. So, it was stored in a shed, the other side of a wall from cattle, so it's a bit of cattle dust on it. But it's perfect other than that, it's just dry, oh it's good, there's a small tiny tiny bit of seed uh, left over from last year. But I ever, all the droppers seem to be dropping seed. And you can see we're just going to dry and seed the seed. So that's what one beet seed looks like. And that's pelletized to make it like that because beet seed is abnormal shape. Uh, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not even. So they pelletize it so that the seed wheel at the bottom, which you can't see, but has little grooves in it for the seeds to drop onto. And then it turns around and lets them out. That's set right now for the right amount of seed going out. No. So I have to change the seed rate. So what seed rate do you need for this variety? This variety we have to go back one gear. One gear. 
one gear and then the convoy is wide wide as far out as she can soar yeah so it's just as simple as changing this here to change the gears in the gearbox So what's the aim? Putting it out about 42,000 seeds? Uh, about, yes. Yeah, so about 42,000 seeds to the acres, what's going out? We have four acres in this field here. I have my box of beet seed here. So this video is sponsored by Gore Crop. And all I was told we'll need is re releasing fluid, screwdriver, and our box of seed. So we are going with Enermax beet so this is a fodder beet so in the four acres here we're going to henner max and these are uh, a high dry matter yeah a high dry matter beet uh 50 000 seeds per box produced in italy that's it there fodder beet seed we also then in our two acre patch that's uh in the middle of a wheat we're going with our conservo beet there so we're going to father phil wanted to try the fodder beet and some conservo beet so we have four acres here two acres there so it's two acres is perfect for here, yeah so the, the other spot is the perfect we, we measured it out mapped it out so that has the perfect size for the hectare pack of constable which comes with the spray the seed we may get to show you that later on i'm just here giving father phil a hand setting up and then i'll be going back to the yard and we have alfie with us so, that's hey. So just out of that seed, everything seems to be going fine. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Happy out. Burying the seed, everything. Yeah, it's a I that slow, it's a bit hard. Yeah. So this wasn't power hard, this is just this hard, just to try and stones again, like always. And yes, that's keeping the window open. So you can see like, for the size of the box, it's 50,000 seeds in that. Beet seed is very, very small. And away we go again. It's right hard to line there. So she sows two one side and three the other side. Oh, is it eight rows? Seven rows. Eight row plant. Right. Yeah. Back back here and just run that one. Huh? Back 
ground in the ring. So we're going back. So now let's drive with the wheel on the mark. So you can just about make out the, the line. Uh, this car does basically the same job. It's just that little bit damper where that line is. That is literally all I'm going on. It's, it's not great. How's that looking? Better, yeah? So Father Phil had to make some adjustments on the little scraper that buried the seat. So you can see it on the edge there. It just pulls that little bit of tape back in over the seat. And leaves a greater off the road. You can see where the bridge marker is that side, it's just pulling up the wheel that we drive on and you'll notice that our wheel, nothing is sewed on it. So it goes either side of the wheel so that we don't have that compaction of the machine trying to bury into the wheel track. All looks good yeah? So, we're out. You'll see how this side carries out further than the other side that's because she's 3 one side 2 daughter so she runs offset to do its job so you can see that's the bit that does the scraping it's for putting the clay back on the seed so you can see how all the other ones run there so they're sprung loaded so that it just comes along seeds placed in and then it just sweeps it back over it so the seed doesn't need to go deep because it's such a small seed it, it, it doesn't go deep if you put it in deep it, it's not going to come up 22 inches between the rows, between the rows. Go, yeah what do you want me to do How's that look this time? Good, yeah? So it's an Ernest Webb precision seeder. And that's what the beet seed looks like. Or the pelletized seed looks like. So, another box. One box in the cab then to top them up as it starts to get low, because otherwise, because as you've seen, you're filling each one individually, you can end up with one maybe a bit fuller than the other. So, you leave one box over just to kind of top them up to finish out what needs to be done. And then we don't really want any seed over in the box because when we change to the Concevo beet, which is the same as we grew last year for the next bit, these beet seeds, the spray for the Concevo will kill these beets. So it's not safe to other non Concevo beets. Just to the Concevo here. Yeah. But we can't sew them around. So, you can't sew them beside each other because the Concevo spray will kill nor, or, nor ordinary beet spray. It's bred that way to be resistant to a spray. This beet, beet in general, is hard to control weeds because they're, it's a very finicky crop. There's, it's very hard to control the weeds, whereas the Concevo beet was bred to be able to be resistant to certain sprays that can make it easier to spray for weeds and that's why it's it's like a fight a good job but father phil wanted to try a bit of fodder beat and he wants to go a good area of fodder beat this time so 
You can catch them now, so in a bit. 3075 looking good. I don't get hippie to mark that. That's the beat going in. Yeah, that's it. Right? Yeah, so this is the winter barley here, sown with the drill. So you can see it's just starting to shoe out now. There's quite a long head, like, look at the length. How can I show you the length of that head? From there to there. So my big hands and it's like longer than my fingers. So, so it's a huge head on, on this. Huge head of barley. So it's just starting to shoe out. So it'll be end of July. We should be in cutting this field. That's what it should be. But, um, yeah, no, very happy with it. Nice and relatively clean. There is a bit of dirt low down and meadow grass and stuff but it's not too bad but it's other than that it's it's quite a good crop there's no disease you want to check a crop for disease you look at the flag leaf flag leaf is nice and clean so very healthy crop of barley very happy with it so anyways time to go back to the yard catch up with rory and try in the yard cleaning and well, i suppose we'll, while we're in the yard we'll show you what cleaning has been done because well, oh, geez, Nelly, you're fast asleep here. Because of um, how we're set up now, all the plowing is done, everything is getting done. We had a couple of wet days there, so wet days we're cleaning and servicing machinery. So, a bit cleaning done in the yard. But anyways, we'll be home back to the yard and show you. Yeah. That's the beat 2023 going in. So, Rory and Troy are just um, washing down the cattle yard and we're working on that shed at the minute getting it tidied but we've rearranged to some extent here load and shovel start of breaking has happened engine is gone engine has been sold on so there's very once engines out there's very little left uh, we have to bring the radiator over while we'll keep that just in case basically both axles the tree rams and one drop box that's what we're keeping the rest then off to wilton so we Tidied, rearranged, scrapped out. Father Phil just abandoned that there after getting the spray off. Our fertilizer out for the beet ground. Plow is off now, it's finished now, except for the plow, two bits for receding. So I just put a bit of linseed oil on the boards there to keep them from rusting. So that gets done. Silage pit is cleaned out and washed out, ready for grass. So starting to tidy up, and yes, some of that expensive stuff sitting on the pallet there. So yeah, we're ready to go now for grass. We're servicing equipment and doing a lot of things all at once. But the great thing is the extra help we have now between Rory and Troy at the weekend. Um, because all the plowing is done, we're caught up in a lot of the work except for get the crops on and start grass, but we won't start grass till we get the last of the crops in, which hopefully we'll have in by this evening now we'll be down to the last 15 acres hopefully between the beet and the oats then and then there's 15 more acres of oats which we should get in monday then we'll be clean run at grass from then on other than that we'd already be at it but yeah the extra help means we've extra help to just get the likes of this done and uh, it's absolutely brilliant you're a good girl aren't you she's been a really good mother and she still has 11 for 11 and they've got so big Yes, Betty, I know. They have got her so big. So they have. We've got massive frogs together. I think Betty wants some food, so she does. So, but yeah, they got really, really big. So they're three weeks old. But they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. They're absolutely lovely creatures. I know Betty, I know, you want some food. Betty's looking for her tea. But yeah, you just, you've got to love them.
track again Follow the line, don't take the long way round So just had the drone up there, Father Phil has just finished in the field there now So happy days, he'll be back down now to get his conservo seed to go So the next bit And we have another bay of the shed tidy So I think we're going to go plant some pumpkins now Because time we're getting them done and um yeah let's hope maybe catch father phil so in the pumps will be maybe not it's the very same seed everything is the very same and um, it's just as in the way the seed looks but the only difference is that it's specifically bred for being resistant or for be yeah being resistant to certain sprays whereas father b isn't and um just for anyone who's outside of the eu the EU bans genetically modified crops so this had to be specifically bred whereas in likes of America and that they just genetically modified the crop to be resistant to sprays so yeah what are we showing this here smart genica Jenny Jenny Janina oh Christ I can't see it anyways father Phil will pick the hop and get that done we're gonna go plant some pumpkins and yeah job will be a good one so we're just up here where we sowed the beet and just as I was walking through here this is the field that I grass hard first one that had a good cover on it I was a bit patchy it's about two weeks done now and you can see it's filled up nicely so it has and you can pretty sure there's little sprigs of clover starting to come up in it there whereas that was the one thing I never I forgot to say was all the bits that I done had no clover whatsoever in them literally nothing so the best way we'll know if this working is when we start seeing the clover coming up through it that's how i'll know whether what we've done with the grass harrow has worked or not because if there's clover starts coming up it's been a success so this here is sowed in spring wheat so we left two acres of this at the far end or a hectare mapped out and the rest is sowed in beet we just were that bit short so we said we'd take another two acres out of another field to grow that extra bit. We reckon six acres of beet is needed to be able to finish all the cattle for next year because the two, <coughs> or the hectare we had last year just wasn't enough. So that's where the beet is sowed to. So our conservo beet has gone in here. So there's no headland at the top. There is a headland here, but what we'll be doing is we'll take down the fence there and we'll just pull it on out and that way there's no messing with the headlands like there was in la in the other field la or last year but the other field this year will have the messing but yeah it sewed up really well so it did got a nice bit of tail on no power horror and just this the three times i think lovely job can one seat there there's, there's nothing worth talking about showing there so very happy with that Sort up well so now that is the beat in that was probably the biggest ingredient we missed last year and why our bulls didn't do <coughs> very well daily weight gains were poor but we didn't have the beat in in time didn't yet pull but hopefully this year everything will work out bee harvester is in the shed on this farm it's ready to rock and roll so hopefully extra bit of help and everything we should get it all up so we're just up here putting out the next batch of cows we'll show you them and now that is the next batch of calves out so we have 70 something calves off me and that's the next the next batch Whereas we're gonna leave it at that for today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday also don't forget to check out gold crop who sponsored today's video there'll be a link in the description to the varieties of beat to have this year anyways that is it for me good luck <laughs>